In our history, we've miked some of the NFL's greatest players, from Dick Butkus, relatively unknown middle linebacker named Bill Saul of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, here we go. Move to it under weak gut. Although Bill Saul wasn't exactly a marquee name among NFL linebackers, he proved to be an ideal choice for our first ever wiring because he had a voice that recalled a B-movie gangster, and then there was the way he looked. He had a face uh, not unlike uh, the guy they call Lurch on the Adams Family. He, of course, looked a little bit like Herman Munster. And, of course, no one ever said to Bill Saul that he looked a little bit like Herman Munster. I'm sure right now he looks like a movie star. There you go. Oh, Today, Bill Saul is a popular bartender okay. at the Emerald Tavern in Parkville, Maryland. And recently, we wired him again to get his recollections about the day he made NFL Films history. They actually put the mic right in the middle of my shoulder pads. It was actually, you know, right there. And uh, from then on, they just said, be yourself. Keep it up, stick them mothers. Stick it down her ear. I was For sake. Bill Saul did not act in that film. No. Bill Saul did not do a Sam Huff in the violent world of Sam Huff. Over! Right! There was no, uh, I'm going to do this for the camera or anything. That's the way he was out there. He wasn't in! Oh. The 50s and 60s. Hard nose, had a mean streak in him. Not one of those guys, Mitchell, Taylor, or, or Smith, like to get hit. They stick them every chance you get. The other side of the uh, scrimmage line has different uniforms, and uh, you just want to wrap them as hard as you can. The 24 is a little let's, let's wrap him. I didn't have anything particularly against that guy, except the back end, you wanted to stuff everybody. Whoever had the ball, uh, let's take his head off. Someone asked me one time, they said, Bill, what would happen if your mother was carrying a ball for the other team? And I said, if she had on a different colored uniform, I'd have to, you know, sack her. And of course, she didn't talk to me for a year, but that's beside the point. All right, you have a red left. I was slow. Hell, we used to run a 40-yard dash. They would time me with an hourglass. You know, I mean, like, four, 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 five, I couldn't even, I'd be lucky to do a five, four. But uh, I think the biggest thing, I didn't back off from anybody. Okay, let's go, babies. He was not that tough, but he thought he was, which is real important. He said, you think there's anybody in the league I can't whip? And I said, well, you can't whip me, let alone, there's gotta be hundreds of guys you can't whip. And he, he said, no, seriously. And it, it, he really believed it. I mean, he could, he could physically beat up with his hands, you know, anybody in a fist fight in the entire National Football League. It was 1,200 guys, and that was totally out of reality. He would always crush the block. He would be beating the blocker to death. And I'd say, Bill, oh, you're missing the point. You get the guy with the ball. You know, that, guy, that guy ran right by you. But Andy, let's get one. All right, Marvin, let's go, Marv, baby. You're good, you're good, baby. First called the signals and uh, made the corrections, made the changes. Jeff! He was a very smart player, made no mistakes, a real uh, force of, in, in, in terms of his personality, and uh, we all loved him. He was not Sometimes you're rather abrupt with people and uh, not worrying about their feelings. Oh, Bobby! The part I love the best, he's walking off the field and some old kid comes running up to him and says, Mr. Saul, can I have your audio? He says, get out of here, kid. He says, the management doesn't allow us to do that kind of stuff. Thank you. We're not allowed, boys. We're not allowed. Don't, don't, don't bug me. Everyone won that 2,000 times to people that it was not an autograph because I want to go on record as saying, I never refuse a kid an autograph.
I know I wasn't in the limelight as much as Butchis or Nitsky or even Tommy Nobis. And uh, I was sort of surprised that they picked me up, you know, to do the uh, to do the wiring. Watch your pass. To me, he's the real NFL. He's the guy that was down on the pits uh, getting a tough job done and, and, and receiving very little uh, publicity. So they, they made an interesting choice because they I think they chose Saul because they thought it would be more interesting to show someone who was having problems, I mean, being blocked occasionally, and having the difficulties that real players have. Not, you know, if you just see a superstar, he's always winning every little contest. Get up easy on your own. Thank you. Come on, let's block. You know, it's just a basic, tough character that the NFL loves. Keep it up. Stick the mothers. Stick it down her ear.